A Brief History of Chad, Tombow Bay, Habre, and Gokoni from the 1950s to 1982. The modern nation of Chad was colonized by France during the early part of the 20th century. Prior to French colonialism, the northerners, mostly Muslims, dominated Chad. However, after colonization, the French encouraged the cultivation of cotton in the southern part of the country. The increase in commercial agriculture in the south gave that region more power than the north. In 1947, Gabriel Lisset formed the Chadian Progressive Party, the PPT, but he was replaced by Francois Tombalbaye as the leader of the party in 1959. Francois Tombalbaye later became the first president of Chad. Tombalbaye was born on June 15, 1918 in the village of Besada. He studied to become a teacher in the Republic of Congo's capital of Brazzaville because there were no adequate schools he could access in his own country. After independence, he eliminated the opposition in his party and outside his party and banned all other political parties. In 1963, Tombal Bay dissolved the National Assembly. However, he also began a nationalization and Africanization program designed to empower the Africans and to move away from dependence on France. Tombal Bayer's Africanization program failed to account for the large population in the north and the center of the country who were Muslim and viewed his leadership with suspicion as merely a shift of control from French colonials to the south. On November 1, 1965, Riots erupted in Guerra Prefecture and led to 500 deaths. A new movement led to the formation of new groups such as the Frolinat or the Chad National Liberation Front, based in Sudan. In order to resist the Frolinat, Tombal Bayer sought help from the French in 1968 and 1969. He was also able to resist an attack by the Frolinat in 1972. During the elections in 1969, several hundred political prisoners were released from prison and in 1971, Tombal Bayer admitted to the Congress of the PPT that he had made mistakes but was willing to reform. He continued his quest for Africanization by disbanding the PPT and replacing it with the National Movement for the Cultural and Social Revolution, the MNRCS. He renamed towns and banned Christian names, expelled missionaries, and the capital of Fort Lamy was renamed Jamena, and Tombo Bay changed his name from Francois to Ngata. On April 13, 1975, a group of soldiers killed Tombo Bay and buried his body in fire. The military installed Felix Maloum, by then a general, as the new head of state. But Maloum's leadership was immediately besieged by problems because he guaranteed foreign investments and prohibited political activity. During his tenure, Libya continued to back Frolinat, which attempted to assassinate Maloum several times. France meddled again by arranging a coalition government in which Maloum would be head of state and his Sene Habre would be prime minister. But the union was short-lived, and fright, fighting broke out between the two factions because Maloum was seen as representing the Christian South and Habre as representing the Muslim North. Maloum resigned from the presidency on March 23, 1979, after signing a peace agreement or a government of national unity agreement which allowed the rebels to form a provisional government. As soon as Gokoni became the leader, he began fighting Habre. The rivalry between Gokoni and Habre limited the government's effectiveness and contributed to the perception of Gokoni as an indecisive puppet of the Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. In a last-ditch attempt to salvage his struggling government, Gokoni at appointed Dono Ngadom as Prime Minister on 19 May 1982. The government of national unity was, however, overthrown by Habre loyalists on 7 June 1982. Gokoni fled from Jamena across the Chari River into Cameroon, and he subsequently went into exile in Tripoli, Libya. In 1982,